Yeah, Renee, we were on on campus here at UNC Chapel Hill working on another story when we started to hear those sirens that went on for a few seconds. Then we heard that automated voice telling people to get inside that there was an armed and dangerous person on campus. We're now here outside the student union just a little bit further up the street. You can see people are now coming out of that building. We've been in this spot for about the last five minutes or so further down the street. University police are down there. You can see lights flashing down there, but people are coming out of this building now. And Monica, the uh, student union any time of day is always a busy place. Um, we're seeing some of those students walking right now. What do you sense in the mood um, from the students there? Yeah, Renee, when we saw students start running, it was kind of this feeling we were seeing on their faces of here we go again. People were really distraught when those sirens started. Before the sirens started, we actually saw a few police officers driving down the street with sirens on maybe two minutes before those campus sirens started going off. And students were already running at that point. Just seeing police with lights and sirens on campus had these students trying to seek shelter immediately. So people here are really shaking up from what we are seeing. Well, it's certainly understandable given the recent incidents uh, that we've had and seen uh, and reported on in the last two weeks, uh, certainly. Uh, and seeing them come out of that bagel shop and come out of the student union there, uh, as Monica described, running, but what we're seeing there now, not running, and it looks like it's an orderly uh, sort of exit out of there, but certainly a uh, police presence all around that area. And you are going to have varying reaction anyway. Some folks uh, certainly trying to get to safety, others perhaps uh, just keeping up with the alerts there on their phone and getting to their destination. Let's go to Ken Smith now in the WRL Live Center with what he has, Ken. Yeah, we're following up on that bolo, be on the lookout. Uh, as you just mentioned, Renee, and we're told that uh, uh, someone was involved in some type of incident at that bagel shop there inside the student union. It's a very popular bagel shop. It's called Alpine Bagel. Uh, right there in the student union on the campus of UNC Chapel Hill. So whatever happened, uh, the that bagel shop and that incident that happened at that bagel shop apparently is triggering what you're seeing here on campus. This uh, massive police presence right now on the campus of UNC Chapel Hill as a result of... of Carol, alert Carolina put out uh, um, an alert uh, about an armed and dangerous person on a near campus as a result of this incident that happened at that bagel shop. At this point, uh, as Monica just reported, that uh, police are taking, police and uh, the campus community are taking this very seriously. As you see, can see uh, a police cruiser right now um, is beginning to block off an intersection there on, on the campus of UNC Chapel Hill to focus their attention right now on uh, um, that um, that area of that uh, student union uh, that's probably not far from a, a popular area called the pit where a lot of students hang out at any given time. Again, this is an incident uh, 